Hey, it's Crystal Walker with Ask A Walker, your Northern Virginia real estate agent. In this video, we're going to be talking about Forestdale Elementary School located in Springfield, Virginia. Forestdale is going to be one of the smaller elementary schools in Springfield. They have about 550 students enrolled between preschool and sixth grade. It's in the 22150 zip code and it primarily serves the Japonica, Beverly Forest, Greenwood, and Lois Dell Estates subdivisions. Now, Fairfax County has a great resource. It's the Fairfax County Boundary Locator. If you put your home address into the Boundary Locator, it'll tell you exactly which school pyramid your child will be assigned to for grades K through 12. Now, Forest Dell is going to be in the Lee Pyramid, and that means that when your child leaves Lee, they'll now, excuse me, when your child leaves Forestdale, they'll move on to Key Middle and then ultimately to Lee High for grades 9 through 12. Another thing parents want to know about are the before and after care options available at each school. Um, at Forestdale, the school day starts at 8.50 and dismissal is going to be at 3.35. For many working parents, those hours just do not work. 8.50 is a pretty late start time. Um, for that reason, the school does offer the school age child care program, also known as SAC. Many parents enroll their kids at SAC and are very pleased with the program, but the biggest gripe we hear from parents is that, the, in, that there are limited slots available. For many parents, um, you know, there is a long wait list and sometimes it may be entire school year before your number is called. Um, for that reason, the school does welcome students to be dropped off at Kiss and Ride or even picked up after school at the Kiss and Ride line from private child care facilities and there are a number of programs in the area that do pick up and drop off at Forestdale. Another thing we hear from parents is they want to know, are they able to volunteer in the classrooms, participate in field trips, does the school have an active PTA? Um, and so to answer those questions, yes, Forestdale does have a very active PTA. They sponsor a number of programs, whether it be enrichment programs, social events, and also fundraisers at the school. Um, those uh, options do change year over year as the PTA boards change, but they do have a thriving PTA. Moreover, the school does welcome parents to volunteer, whether it be in class, in the cafeteria, or in the school clinics. Now there are a few programs that are available at almost every elementary school in the county um, and these are going to be what the kids call the specials and that's going to be music, art, library, physical education, and computer lab. That's pretty standard at every school. Now some schools have the um, programs that are available exclusively at their schools. There are a couple of schools near where they have foreign languages. While I didn't find that, one thing that is different about Forestdale is they're one of less than half of the elementary schools in Fairfax County that does offer a, a preschool program or a pre-kindergarten program. So they have two part-time preschool programs that are available, whether it be a morning or afternoon program. Additionally, Forestdale does offer level two and three advanced academic placement. And that means that for certain subjects that your child has been identified and need an additional challenge in the coursework, your child will be pulled out for those subjects and be taught by the advanced level or the gifted teacher. The last thing I like to cover in these videos is always going to be ratings and reviews. I really don't go over those too much in the video and that's because ratings and reviews change year over year. A lot of things I talked about in this video are going to be pretty standard and whether you're looking at this video now or next year, those programs pretty much remain the same. Ratings and reviews change year over year and that could be because of test scores, um, it could also be because of you know graduation rates change and also parent satisfaction changes over time. Um, and so for that reason, I'm actually going to direct you to the link down below in the description bar. It's going to be for the Forest Dell Elementary school page on the Ask A Walker website. There you're going to find a link to the Fairfax County Boundary Locator. You're also going to find the most recent rating reviews, ratings and reviews, and additionally you're going to find more information about everything I spoke about in this video. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. 